Mangroves are one of the most impressive ecosystems on the planet. They interface the ocean and the land, forming a thin line of trees that protect the coast areas, much like our skin protectors. They not only provide us protection against hurricanes or erosion, they provide us with many other ecosystem services. They purify the water by filtering it through the sediments, provide nurseries for fish and other species, and sequester carbon. Some mangroves are ancient ecosystems. These forests have been growing on top of themselves for more than 2,000 years, accumulating and storing massive amounts of carbon in their roots. However, there is a problem. We have been losing large amounts of mangroves in the last five decades. 50% of these ecosystems have been lost so far. And now, more than ever, we have an urgent need to protect them. The first time I dove in a mangrove forest was unforgettable. I was able to see all the roots of the trees. I was impressed with these spectacular habitats for so many species. And I was able to observe the habitat of a juvenile yellow snapper. We learned that the larger the mangrove forest, the more abundance of yellow snapper. Additionally, we were able to demonstrate that all other species show the same pattern. Since then, I have been able to demonstrate these mangroves produce 11,000 tons of fishery products on an annual basis for local communities. That equal products worth almost $20 million in the region. Just one hectare of mangrove every year produces around $37,500 in fishery products. We can quantify other services as well, like carbon sequestration. The organic material is captured in its root system and by different processes. Scientists can extract samples of sediments, study the samples and analyze how much carbon is being sequestered every year. Estimating carbon and using the economic valuation of carbon sequestration, my research team has been able to show that Mexico should prioritize the conservation of different forests along the Mexican coast. In the same way that we estimate fisheries or carbon sequestration revenues, we can estimate the economic value of all the ecosystem services that mangroves provide to humans. The United Nations has named mangroves as the superheroes in the fight against climate change, and many sustainability goals are based on mangrove protection. However, there are many barriers to reversing trends of mangrove deforestation. The 2021 State of the World's Mangrove Report shows that the rate of mangrove loss has declined. That means that in the 80s and the 90s, the speed at which we were losing mangroves was faster than today. Nevertheless, that doesn't mean that we are not losing mangroves. The drivers of this loss are the industrial activities, agriculture, aquaculture, the world's growing demand for palm oil for food and industrial products. This demand is growing, especially in mangrove-rich countries like Indonesia and Malaysia. So how do we not only protect, but also restore mangroves around the world? My proposal is to introduce a model of solution-oriented science rather than a model where scientists only describe how we are losing mangroves. As scientists, we need to be a voice in the public arena. We need to be central to not just informing, but organizing and enacting needed action plans. What I'm proposing is the first center for mangrove science diplomacy. We need scientists, their knowledge, their stories, and their unique local efforts and experiences of protecting this extraordinary mangrove forest. We need to find scientific leaders to help stop mangrove deforestation collectively and to halt the trends that we have been seeing in the last 50 years. 13 countries in the world have 70% of mangrove cover. It's a small number of countries. This makes it possible to create a unique new network of scientists and a center to help with diplomacy to address mangrove habitat destruction. Scientists can help us address climate change. They can help with changing theories and also create a roadmap to protect mangroves. Scientists can be the ones that help create policy and produce solutions and outcomes and not just provide the underlying data. If we are able to create a network of scientists and leaders across 13 countries with 10 experts per country in four regions, we can create the first network designed to tackle the threats of mangrove deforestation. 
The center that I am proposing has three key elements. Communication training for scientists and organize global communications campaign. Local and global platforms to support participation in international forums and regional coordination hubs to create roadmaps for policy solutions and protections. The cohort of experts will include different disciplines, botanists, ecologists, conservation biologists, as well as political scientists, sociologists, researchers in communications, psychologists, economists, and policy makers. The expertise of a network of 130 researchers will be empowered to create a roadmap where real solutions are proposed and implemented based on local knowledge and know-how. This new framework will also allow participating nations to share the best practices. We have tested this model at a small scale, where scientists and stakeholders are showing that we can reverse the trends of mangrove laws. One example where I have participated and witnessed the changes is in La Encrucijada in Mexico. There are many ways to view the world and the context that each of these mangrove forests are facing. We need to understand the unique problem in a plural context and think in the best solutions for each. We can create a leadership in the scientific community to move and work directly with many local communities and enable the conditions to detonate a bottom-up effort to stop mangrove deforestation. We can implement the science and test these solutions, having the opportunity to collectively have a voice and participate in international forums like the United Nations forums. And we can set goals and prove that this new Center for Mangrove Science Diplomacy can have a real impact in the next 10 years.